Hi guys, today I'm teaching you how to make this the long-awaited eyebrow stimulating gel. So if you want thick, full, luscious eyebrows, stay tuned. Here's the finished article guys. It is a, a white, off-white off sort of creamy gel. It's got lumps in it, but they're there on purpose guys, because what I want you to do is when you apply this gel, make sure you use a big lump on your toothbrush or whichever, whatever you're using to apply it with. I'm, I bought this toothbrush specifically for this purpose to do this tutorial with. I want you to massage your eyebrows with this for two minutes each night before you go to bed. And I'll explain why that's so important in a minute. But that's what those lumps are. They're not all lumps. It's not all lumpy. There's a gel. It's lumps in a gel, if you like, because we need to try and get the castor oil, which is the magic ingredient in this. And there's biotin in this as well. And those two work well, extremely, extremely well together, guys, to uh, stimulate your eyebrows, basically. So even if you have bold patches within your eyebrows, the, the combination of the massaging with this gel should, well, it will in fact help to um, re-stimulate your eyebrows. So you'll have big bushy eyebrows. So guys, why would we want to massage something like an eyebrow gel into our eyebrows? Well, there are two reasons really. Firstly is because we're trying to get the nutrients from the gel deep within our hair follicles, or our eyebrow follicles, where it can perform its magic basically. And we do that by literally pressing it into our eyebrows with the massage. Don't press too hard so that you know you're damaging your skin, but certainly hard enough to, to press the formulation into your eyebrow roots. And secondly, it is vital that you massage your eyebrows, even if you don't use, use a gel, guys, because what it's doing is it's stimulating blood flow to that area, which is what we want, because that way the blood is picking up nutrients from your diet and it's depositing them throughout all of your hair and all of your skin, guys, but particularly when we massage we're bringing blood to that area and it's depositing nutrients which then help to stimulate the hair. So the combination of a gel like this, magic gel, with a toothbrush or a, a spoolie, anything would do guys, as long as you can really get into there. But after I've done the tutorial, I will um, talk to you about how to massage your eyebrows. Here's the tutorial and we'll meet on the other side. See you in a minute. Right guys, here's how we make the miraculous eyebrow stimulating gel. So you need a pack of biotin tablets, I'll link all of these into the description below. A bottle of castor oil. These two work superbly together, guys, to really, really stimulate those eyebrows, even if you have bold patches in on your eyebrows. And some Gua gum. Even if you have bold, bold patches on your eyebrows, this will start to re-stimulate them, and you'll be really, really surprised at how effective this actually is. But you must massage. And a jug full of water doesn't matter how much water you have in your jug. A clean bowl to do our mixing in. And a spoon. Right, first things first. We need to get a, an aqueous or a water solution of biotin. So we're going to add two tablespoonfuls of water to the bowl. And biotin readily dissolves in water, guys, so... You won't be stirring for ages and ages. And into the water, I'm going to add 14 to 16 biotin tablets. So this is a really potent formula, guys. But then we want it to be, you know, the stronger the better, in my opinion. So that's two going in, another two, another two, and I don't know whether you can see, but they're already starting to dissolve in the bowl, guys. So, you know, I mean, you're not going to be there for hours and hours stirring and trying to get them to dissolve in the water. That's another two going in, and I think we've only got two left now. That's it. Get those last two in. That's it. Give that a quick stir with the end of your spoon or whichever implement you're stirring with. So that's the water phase of the formulation done now, guys. 
This is a water-based formula. All I meant was just the liquid phase. Now we need to try and make the gel. So on the left-hand side, you can see my clean bowl. On the right-hand side is the bowl with the water and biotin in. So there I've got my J cloth, a teaspoon, and that's a bottle of um, e-liquid. Now this is e-liquid minus the nicotine, guys. So that's just pure propylene glycol and glycerin in there, and it's cherry flavor. Don't ask me why I chose this today, guys. I suppose I wanted to show you that you can access propylene glycol easily in a supermarket or a discount store, anything like that. Just buy yourself a bottle of liquid, uh, e-liquid carrier liquid. Just make sure it hasn't got nicotine in it, guys. You can use glycerin if preferred, of course. And this stank of cherry sherbet for some reason, but if you like that smell, that's fine. So I'm going to add two teaspoons of my propylene glycol e-liquid carrier liquid. but do use glycerin if you prefer. We've got the J cloth just to give our spoon a quick wipe with, otherwise it starts to clog up and get messy. The Gua gum forms a brilliant gel, guys, and we'll be able to just fold our oil into the the water gel once the the biotin water gel so i'm going to add half a teaspoon of guar gum to the propylene glycol e-liquid carrier or glycerin if you use glycerin then you know just substitute the e-liquid propylene glycol for glycerin give that a quick stir this is making the slurry guys Right, now we need to get our other bowl with the water and the biotin in. It looks quite milky and cloudy, guys, which is what you want, because, you know, we want the biotin suspended in the water. And now you need to tip this directly into the slurry bowl, guys, because otherwise it will sink to the bottom and sediment will start to form and you won't have all your beautiful biotin in the formula. Now we've got that into the bowl with our slurry and we can start to stir and this will form an amazing gel, guys. Formula will definitely thicken up. There's quite a few lumps in that formulation, but that, they're there on purpose, guys. What I want you to do is when you apply this at night or in the morning, spend two or three minutes with trying to work the lumps into your eyebrows. It's surrounded by gel, so you'll still get all the nutrients, but the, the lumps are there to encourage you to massage your eyebrows, guys. Squash the bigger lumps out. Nearly done, guys. And this will stimulate any eyebrows, guys. If you want thick, bushy, dark, luscious eyebrows, this is the formulation for you. Hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up and like this video. And don't forget to subscribe. So, guys, that's how we make this the Miraculous Eyebrow Stimulating Gel. It's got nothing in it other than uh, castor oil, biotin tablets, goo gum and water. It has got oil in it, but we've done the formulation without an emulsifier because we've used my unique blending in, uh, folding in method where we fold the oil into the, the gel. The gel's thick enough to actually pick up the castor oil and disperse it throughout the formulation. I would use this every night, um, do the two minute massage, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. Um, every night before going to bed, don't rinse this off guys, just get straight into bed once you've performed your two minute massage. And I think your eyebrows will really, really start to thank you. They'll start to look thick, fuller, glossier, um, just more dense, more dark, more, more luscious, I suppose, really. You know, people, a lot of people have um, little bold patches in their eyebrows because they've overplucked them in the 1990s, even recently. Plucking your eyebrows is the worst thing you can do, guys, because you're actually tearing the whole hair out, including the follicle and the root, thus making it very, very difficult for your eyebrows to grow back, the poor things.
Storage wise guys, you could maybe just keep it in a bowl like this, put some cling film over it, keep it in the fridge. Or similarly, you could use one of these. These are the little pots. I got these from Lush. They are little tester pots, but that's empty. You could put your gel into that one and then keep that in the fridge, you know, and then just top it up anytime it starts to get empty or just keep it in the bowl, as I say, in the fridge. And then the beauty with DIY formulas is that they're so cheap to make that when you when it starts to turn or go off, then just make a fresh batch. Right, without any further ado, I'll put some of this on. I've got my clock here. You don't have to time yourselves exactly all the time, guys, but just make sure it's at least two minutes, I would say, at least two minutes. So I've got my spoon here with the miraculous gel on it. Can you see that? Yeah, right. So what I'm going to do is get quite a big glob of that on my toothbrush and do this for each brow, guys. And, you know, your eyebrows will really, really thank you for this. Right. Can you see that's got the eyebrow gel on it? Right. I'm going to start my clock. Obviously, I'll speed this up so that you guys at home aren't sat there watching me massaging my eyebrows. And I'll just do the one. So what I'm trying to do is get this onto my eyebrow. And I'm doing circular motions. Twenty eight seconds. I'm really trying to work this into the root of my eyebrows, guys. And obviously, anywhere that you need, you know, your eyebrows to um, to be thicker or fuller, this gel works like a dream, guys. It really, really does. And just the, the by the, the sheer virtue of the fact that you are massaging your eyebrows thoroughly. I'm pressing quite hard here, guys. It's not hurting my skin, but, you know, it's I can certainly feel it. It's certainly tingling. And do this for each eyebrow, guys. That's nearly one minute and ten seconds. In fact, I won't speed this up. I'll just um, I'll keep this in real time just so you can see. And what I'm doing is I'm going backwards and forwards and up and down to make sure each hair is coated. And occasionally it goes up the sides of the toothbrush or your spoolie. Just simply smear it back on. And do this every night, guys, with each eyebrow. Two minutes on each eyebrow. And don't forget your ends as well. And we're really, really pushing the formula into, uh, into the roots of our eyebrows, guys, to, you know, reignite the stimulation of those eyebrow hairs. Coming up to two minutes. Right. That's it, just turn my stop clock off. As I said, I mean, you don't have to time yourselves exactly, but do make sure it that looks full already, doesn't it? <laughs> Obviously it wouldn't work that quickly, guys, but maybe it's just the fact it's quite wet and that I've been, you know, massaging an oil into it. But the castor oil is packed full of nutrients, guys. Um, and by pushing them into the roots of our eyebrows, we are re-stimulating the eyebrow hairs and also the biotin as well, which is the um, vitamin B7. Biotin is in a lot of shampoo, it's in a lot of the eyebrow and eyelash serums too, guys. I wouldn't use this on your eyelashes, just do eyebrows. Um, and, you know, do the other eyebrow. That does look much thicker, doesn't it? That's mad. <laughs> that is really, really mad. I mean, you saw me before and you've just, right, okay. You can't have worked that quickly, guys, but, you know, um, <laughs> incredible right okay that's today's tutorial guys um you know it just goes to prove that diy formulas work better if not it's as well as if not better than a lot of the shop bought ones because a we're controlling the amount of actives we're putting into the formulation and b we're making them ourselves you, you know we're, we're sourcing the ingredients ourselves thus making them much much cheaper if you like today's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up similarly please do subscribe and i'll see you all tomorrow guys Lots of love. Take care. Bye.